thank you so much for continuing to be part of my youtube channel i really appreciate your patronage and i believe that um, you are getting value as you listen and as you follow us thank you for subscribing and sharing with your friends uh, the value that you are getting from my YouTube channel. This uh, month we will continue with talking about being able to um, become more authentic in the way that we live our lives. And as you remember, my hashtag is live by design. And so today I'm going to continue to talk about emotional intelligence and what that looks like. I'm going to start off by actually giving you a, a small checklist on how you can know whether you are emotionally intelligent. And just to remind you, emotional intelligence is the ability to experience and, you know, express your feelings, know your feelings, name them, uh, and also be able to be aware of other people's feelings, be aware of how they are experiencing you and how you are experiencing them. And then you can be able to um, regulate how you're going to react, how you're going to behave um, during that interaction with uh, that particular person or group of people so that you can have good relationships, you can have a good experience with the people that you are interacting with. So we want to encourage, to encourage you to continue to be intentional about living the best kind of life that you would want. This is how you know that you are emotionally intelligent. Number one, you think about feelings, you recognize them, you name them. It's not just I'm sad, I'm mad, I'm happy but you can be able to say to say more more than that you can name disappointment you can name betrayal you can name um, other things that uh, that you feel and also you can be able to recognize when somebody else is feeling something so when somebody is angry that you can be able to um, tell whether it is just anger or whether they are really disappointed or they are feeling disrespected or whatever it's going on with them. And then authenticity is living out of your values. When you are living your values, you don't allow people to dictate the way that you make decisions, the way you feel about yourself, but you are living out the, the, your life according to what you believe in, according to what is authentic within you. For instance, some people, they have a difficult time telling people no. And that is uh, a problem because it creates a lot of uh, problems in relationship. And so if you um, can learn how to say yes and how to say no in ways that are respectful and in ways that bring value to your relationships, then you know that you are a person that is intelligent emotionally. And also you um, in this uh, area of um, being authentic, it also means that you allow people to express whatever they feel. You don't try to protect people from their own feelings. A lot of us, we don't say what we feel, we don't say what we mean because we don't want to hurt people, because we don't want people to feel pain, because we don't want people to uh, be disappointed in us. We cannot live our lives like that. We need to learn how to be assertive. So if you are a person who is passive aggressive, you want to learn how to express and you want to learn how to say no and to say yes when you mean those things. If you are an aggressive person, you need to learn how not to react to people, not to verbally vomit on people, but to learn to manage your own feelings and to ask yourself how other people are going to feel when you say what you want to say or when you do what you want to do. The other thing is that uh, you show empathy. You are able to feel other people's feelings. That is important so that you can de-escalate the situation if a person is really mad. The fact that you have the ability to celebrate others is very important. There are many of us who are filled with that yellow, green monster. We don't like to celebrate other people. We are envious, we are jealous. Um, and so if you find yourself in those spaces that it's hard for you to celebrate other people, then there is a, um, an issue with your emotional intelligence. You want to be able to be confident in yourself and confident in other people and value, add value to people's lives. Celebrate their, their 
outcomes, celebrate their, the, the things that they are celebrating, as well as give them good feedback. That's another way, helpful feedback. Don't always shut people down. Tell them that, hey, you are doing great. I love this. Have you thought about one, two, three? If you think that there is something they can do better or they can improve on, don't always tell them, no, tell them this is a really great idea. And I, and I was wondering whether you have also thought about and you tell them whatever else you, that, you, that you want to say to them. And please don't lie to people. If something is not good, don't tell them it is because you want to save their feelings. They will not grow and neither are they going to be the best that they can be. And then learn to apologize. When we do something that is not pleasing to another person, when we experience that the other person has experienced um, negatively the way that we are with them, we need to be able to come back and repair that. Tell them that I am so sorry that I noticed that when I said this and this or when I did that and that, that you were not happy, that you you seemed perturbed about a way that I was with you. And I want to you, you to uh, forgive me. I am sincerely sorry and I would like to not do that again. You also want to learn to forgive and forget. A lot of us, we say that uh, we cannot forgive people because of things they did to us. And uh, that usually is a difficult way to live because you become bitter and forgiveness does create bitterness in our hearts. And it's a burden that we carry for a long time. And we have heard it being said that, um, that uh, bitterness is the poison that you take, hoping that somebody else is going to die. So please let's let's learn how to forgive and what is forgiveness forgiveness is really letting go of anger letting go of the need to punish another person offering somebody else grace and giving them what they don't deserve because you need your peace so letting go of your anger and what we call forgetting is not really forgetting we don't really forget an experience what we do is we decide that we are no longer going to um, be angry about that experience but we are going to walk through it and we are going to forgive and we are going to let it go and it's a process Tomorrow you wake up after you have decided to forgive somebody, you still feel the same pain. You wake up and you say again, I forgive you until it becomes a reality for you, until the pain has died down. And now you can think about that experience without feeling intense pain. And then learn how to serve others. If you are a person who is helpful to others, who is always looking on how they can make other people's lives better, you know you are emotionally intelligent because you are not just thinking about yourself. And then learn to be a person if you are a person who is dependable, you keep commitments, you promise what you're going to do and you do it. And when you are not able to do it, that you call in good time, that you do uh, let people know that I am so sorry, I can't do this uh, because of this and that. And you do not let people wait for you and you don't show up. That avoidance usually hurts people more than when you are able to disappoint them, but in a respectful way. What do we mean by respect? That I think about what is important to you. If I were in your shoes, would I want to be told that you will not be able to make it or would I want you not to just show up? So it's important that we learn to keep our commitments. And if we do these things that I have said, if you practice these things that I have said here, then you grow in your emotional intelligence and you have better relationships, not only with others, but also with yourself. So continue watching because we will be talking much more on how emotional intelligence can help us in our relationships. And I am so glad that you are part of us. Please continue to tell others about our channel and subscribe and let us know how else we can support you.